it's Erica and Jess. Welcome back to Twin Aura Knits. Long time no see. I know. Happy New Year. Yes, Happy New Year. I'm so excited. Okay. Me too. So I'm going to get this out of the way first. Um, I have a wrist injury. It has been persisting for a while since I started to do pole class and this is just to help stabilize it while I knit. Yes. So I'm doing all right, but when I move too much, it starts to activate it. So in case anyone sees me moving my hands and they wonder what this is, this is just a wrist brace to help me stabilize my wrist. Yep. I just wanted to get that out of the way because sometimes I know when I see other people, vlogs and stuff, and they have something else that's going on, I'm like, are they going to talk about that? What's going on there? <laughs> You're funny. I'm sorry. It's true. <laughs> all right. So. All right. So. We haven't done one of these in a while. I don't remember the order. Um. Yeah. Did you finish objects first? Do you want to talk about what we're wearing? Yeah. Okay. So, you go first. All right. So, I am wearing my slip stravaganza. This is how I wore it to work today. Very cool. Um, it's, as Christy Glass calls it, little woman style. I was freezing. So... Yeah, it's been pretty cold here. Yeah. It was freezing and I didn't... I left my at work sweater at home. Yeah, at work sweater at home. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so I was like, oh, I'll just, I'll just reconfigure this. It'll be fine. So, yeah, this is how I wore it all day. I'm like, I'm, I'm sure you guys are, have no questions about what this is. I wear this, I feel like, every other podcast. Right. This is my Caitlin Hunter misery in a tee. Mm -hmm. But I wore it today, layered, a la, I like to call it Devil Wears Prada. You know that epic, like that one shot where she's in Miranda's house with the Chanel. Yep. So like I know it's not Chanel, but this is the vibe I was going for with Andy and I'm also wearing I get like that. like the same kind of idea with the same pants and mm. I wore not that you need to know, but I wore my socks. I think you do care. Yeah, I also wore my socks today. <laughs> I know. Um and I I kind of wore it kind of dressy casual. Mhm. Mm right. Yeah. All right. So that's what we're wearing. So we have a lot of stuff. Um I don't have a lot of stuff. I'm like, uh oh. I'm like, I have. Oh, okay. I'm like, she's a lot to show you. I really so, do. So, and um, I don't want to. Let's do finished objects first. That way, like, let's do let's do okay. whips that are now finished objects. Whips that you. Okay. Because I know last time we showed these as whips. Okay. Yeah. 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 So. All right. Do you want to go first, or do well, you want do me to go first? You have two things yes, that were whips. And you only so have one? I only have one. Okay. So I finally, finally finished. Not photographed yet. Yeah. But I finished my flower power card. You guys, look at how cute. If you guys saw our vlogmas, you probably saw me wear it. Ooh. You know what I like about the way our like this is set up is that you can actually see the sparkle. I know. It's so <gasps> great. Ooh. I hope it's this fantabulous in real life. Too. It is. So I'm like, you can see it on the ink, but not on the, yeah, on the flower. I, that's the ink looks like mid, like a midnight. Oh my goodness! It literally looks like the night sky. Yeah, that's why I got it. Oh, I like this. Can you give me some of this? Yeah. Okay. Of course I can. <gasps> okay. Isn't it so good? It's so good. I still have my my plaid tastic cardigan to do. Yes, me too. But. Um, if you guys are doing the KAL, she is doing another, like, unofficial round. Yes. Of, like, um, ja like sweaters and things. So we're yeah. gonna, I'm gonna so. cast on my plaid-tastic cardigan for that. Me too. Just because I think it'll be fun and it's nice to, Ugh. like, knit with others. Yeah, I think so too. I think it'll be fun. You guys? You guys! I am so excited. She is so excited. It's finally done. So this is officially mm -hmm. my first finished object of 2021 nice i still don't have a finished object of 2021 i worked on this like a mad woman mm -hmm. i think the last episode i was telling you that i dm'd um jackie jackie from katie jacks to figure out how she made her sleeves match mm -hmm. and i followed her instructions so i kind of did them two at a time mm -hmm. and when i finished i finished and i love this so so much i 
Oh, I could go on and on about this sweater. So I'm just gonna <laughs> just gonna keep it kind of concise. I am getting so this is like progress report on like my knitting journey mm -hmm. for just a second. I'm getting so much better at my floats that the whole thing <laughs> stretches. Like it's not like this, like if you look at this, like this doesn't stretch all the way because yeah. the floats, it's a little tight. It's, yeah. it's a little tight. This though, stretch like even the arms, because I have a tendency to knit the collar work or even the arms a little too mm -hmm. tight. Like all of the collar work stretches the same width as the sleeve. Yeah. So I'm really excited about that. This is, again, if you've been following, this is done in Ritual Dyes, mm -hmm. Peach Maven, and Spin, Spin Cycle. Cycle. I'm sorry. Spin Cycle in the Black Mountain Yarn Exclusive Colorway Eventide. Mm -hmm. And I am loving this. I've already worn it to work in the best way possible. I did it kind of like in a cottage core. Yes, she um, did. She looks so cute. So I have this like love we shack need... fancy dress that I bought from Target. Yeah, we need to really take photos of I that. I know. So like what's nice about the dress is not only can I be warm and comfy in this like 100% American wool sweater, mm -hmm. the dress also has pockets. I know, it really so does. So it became my favorite outfit. I'm probably going to wear it forever tomorrow. Ever. Oh, nice. I was just waiting. I love yeah, this. I was also thinking of wearing a dress tomorrow. I mean, this is like my blankie. I love it so much. It's so good. I kept going, Jess, touch it. It's so squishy. It is squishy. I love it so, so much. But I think your new project is squishier. I know, but we'll get to that. You finish right. yours. So, um, you guys probably already saw my finished, ob my finished object photos for this, mm -hmm. and the pattern is not out yet. But soon. But it's coming out, I believe, the 17th, um, and it is my Moon Kitty Sailor Moon socks that I test knitted for Pearl Scout yarns, and my goal for these was to make socks as if they would have come out straight from the TV show. Yes. So I did the light pink, which is the Empress Peaches in what else but cake wool mm -hmm. because I love this color and I definitely have to get it again because I need to put it in everything now. <laughs> Look at you dipping into pink. Ooh. All right. <laughs> so. Um, and then the actual body of the sock is Down by the River by Hedgehog Fibers. Yeah. And this was so fun to knit. Um, I it was so fun to watch her work on it because, like, I would... This was my quarantine knit. Yeah. For those of you that knew... That have been watching the advents on Instagram. <laughs> yes, this was my advent, my advent, my quarantine, quarantine knit. knit because so I, I got a progress report every day of yes. like how much she knit how much she knit it was yes. really fun to see that grow it's nice I'm like if I when I do these again because I am gonna do them again mm -hmm. um, I'm definitely gonna try to do a contrasting heel toe and, cuff? and then not the cuff because I don't want it to go with oh, okay to detract from the color work but I think I'm gonna do more of a contrast mm -hmm. so it's like a dark and then like a light yeah um, because I've seen some of the other testers and, um, they're so nice. So I'm going to totally take an idea from one of the girls and she did a black cat and then she's doing a white cat to have <gasps> Luna and Artemis. Oh, I love that. And I was that. just like, I'm taking that idea. I hope you don't mind because I need those socks in my life. That's smart. Is so, there only two kitties? Yeah, I think so. I mean like on the pattern. No, there's three. Oh, there's three. Yeah, so one <gasps> sock is... Oh, one sock is... Oh, one okay. sock is white. I didn't and understand. Then the that. other sock is black or purple. I thought she was saying. I thought she was saying that each kitty was like one. But I understand what you're saying now. Yeah. Okay. Yes. I'm I like, agree. I think I would do that. Let's. Do I that. think. I think in the show there's three kitties because you have Luna, Artemis, and the daughter cat. Mm -mm. But I I didn't watch to find out the daughter cat. So. But yeah, I was very excited. I. I can't wait to wear these with my Birkenstocks now in the summer. Because that's what socks summer. are for. You mm. know, in the spring so with the air conditioning. Okay, that's fair. Let's be real. Like, we wear socks. We kind of wear socks all year round. Yeah, but also, like, it's still cold here in the summer, really. Sometimes, yeah. So. I'm like, is that it? 
Yeah, that's it. I only had two two finished okay. objects. Oh, okay. I'm like, my last finished object I was real excited about. So I got to... Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just, I'm loving this moment right now because this is my favorite color. This is my favorite designer. And I knit a pair of socks. Tess knitted a pair of socks for Caitlin Hunter in my favorite color. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, it kind of matches. Um, I This is the Lonely Forest sock. Mm -hmm. And it is done in Crayo Fuzz Family yarn in the Bleeding Heart. I did the Twisted Sister sock and I did it in the Sur Brush Surrey Alpaca. So this is like the Twisted cabled it's so pretty like oh i like i haven't even really worn these yet because i wanted them to be fresh for you guys mm -hmm. same i know i this this i'm was like such only a for fun, photos i know only for photos and if you haven't seen the photos you you need, need to. to we like i feel like with these should socks we, we, should we should we post them up while we're talking about yes, them i think okay. we should yes okay um we really kind of like outdid ourselves with these photos i think yes I we think just so too it was just so fun to play with something that we normally wouldn't have yeah so we like to really dress up like Tees like these tees and like these shawls and and more sweaters and things mm -hmm. But we've never really got a really good chance to play with Sock. socks. So it was really fun to like Style come socks. up with an idea yeah. style a pair of socks and do the dang thing. Yeah, it was fun It was it was, it was like a whole it was a whole vibe. It was so fun mm -hmm. um, So yes, so I was really especially excited. with these socks like these socks are like you really get to see the type of things that we're really into, Eric and I, just by two different pairs of socks. Yeah. Which is really cool. Um, I'm so. not, okay, so this is DK, like almost a DK weight sock with the Surrey, and it knit up super fast. Mm -hmm. I also have very tiny feet. Yes. So they even were made quicker. Mm hmm And as I was making them, I'm like, how cute, because it's bottom, no, toe, toe up. up. I'm like, how cute would it be? That pattern be for like a, a mitten. mitten. <gasps> I know. So I loved, I loved making these. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna keep showing because like, if you haven't seen the pattern They're yet, so like, nice. Okay, they are really nice, and okay. I might have to make myself a pair of those. So that is. So you can see them with my Birkenstocks. I know. Let's be real. Like the reason why I got into knitting and knitting socks specifically are for my Birkenstocks. So I have Birkenstocks. Yes. <laughs> Let's be real. I know. Here. I don't wear Birkenstocks. Uh, I have a pair. They're so nice. But they're not the slips like yours. They're not. You need to invest in a pair of slips because it's so nice. They're so comfortable. I wear And then you can us. wear them. Tebas are good too. I like shoes that are like really on my feet because. I am not the most coordinated person. Sometimes I trip with the shoes on, and it's really are cool though. It's really funny because like with the Jeffrey Campbell Hyde high heels, like I wore them, and there were days where I was great and great balance, and there's mm -hmm. other times where I tippy tumbled every time. Yeah, but I think that's just the nature of not having your balance. That's true. I'm really excited. All right, so what what do we want to get into? Oh, I guess technically let's do projects. Let's do work in let's, progress. Let's do whips. Oh, I technically this is a finished object. Okay, yes, kind of. That's okay because I just finished my finished object. Yeah, do your finished okay. object. So guys, I also spin yarn. Um, it's a thing, and my project that I really wanted to use with this is I wanted to make my own kaleidoscope. Mm -hmm. Um, with a hand spun. With hand spun yarn. So this is actually um, Amanda Solomon roving called Rocket. Um, you can't. I, now all I hear is Rocket like Rocket Fuel. You're funny. Um, so I spun half of it in chunky, and then because I prefer to spin thin, I'm also spinning it thin to see if I can make like um, a DK weight. So I can do like an Aquamar light mm -hmm. or like a scrappy project. Yeah, like a scrappy sweater that's also just hand spun. Um, yeah, and also I'm also doing the um, spin along with pearl 
with Nancy Ricci getting from pearly getting with pearly with it. Um, so yeah, so I literally stopped spinning so I could continue spinning for the spin along. So yeah, I'm really excited. Uh, I have... She has a ton. Yeah, so many. Um, of art spinning stuff. I do. Um, because when Amanda Solomon came out with like the Disney Disney ones, like mm -hmm. I she lost my nuts. mind. That's okay. With the Sailor Moon ones, I lost my mind. Um, we like our themed. Yes. And like I can appreciate by like I like obviously you can tell we're comic book nerds and when yeah. I can integrate my love of nerd culture with my love of fiber. I'm going to do it. That's, yeah. So, <laughs> so yeah, so I'm going to spin, um, I really want to spin my Ariel Little Mermaid roving, um, to see if I can make a sweater with that, maybe. Fingers crossed if I can spin it thin enough to do, like, a fingering weight sweater. Um, I wish we bought two sleeves. braids of that then. You might not have enough. I know. But you can make some you know other what? Disney stuff. I got, I'll, I, I take it back. I just gave myself a goal and I take it back. Next time she does another Disney collection, I'm going to get two and then we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Because it doesn't have to be Little Mermaid. Like, it could be the Tiki Room or it could be like... The Tiki Room! I love the Tiki she, Room! Okay, let's let's just... Amanda Solomon, if you're watching this, can you please, 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 for my little heart, do a collection based off of the Pirates of the Caribbean police! <gasps> because that's my favorite attraction. Yes. Please and thank you. Or it's a small world. But oh, it's a smart world would be so cute because you have right. more colors to play with. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Please. Please, 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 please. Special request. <laughs> um, all right. Sorry, my hair is getting in the... So that was, that was my, that was my, that was my last finished object. Mm-hmm. Technically. Okay. Do you want to do works in progress? Yes, I do. Okay, so, I'm you like, guys. Let me get all ready for this. I know. So, you guys. You guys. You okay. guys. So, are you ready for it? Because I don't think you are. Because, like, <laughs> I look over at it and I'm, like, so jelly. She tells me every day. Every so, single day. Backstory. Um, I am in the, the, um, Nick Collage Creative Knitter Subscription Membership Group. Mm -hmm. Um, as of this recording, they are going to be opening, um, yes. enrollment, mm -hmm. I think as she's saying in mid January, which is right about now, which is right about now or early February. Early so, February? I don't know, but that's what it said in the email. Okay. Um, so it's, yeah. So she's going to open registration again for the group again. Soon. I need to register. Yes. Now. So all of us in the group have been talking about what like new skills we want to learn this mm -hmm. that the other thing because we're not just what's nice about the group is um, we have all of the resources of mm -hmm. knit collage like from the KAL but we can use it for anything right sort of so we, we still have access to Cheryl mm -hmm. who who does a lot of um, like one on one Cheryl. time. Um, everyone in the, it's also really nice to have that community of people, mm -hmm. um, so you can share ideas off of. We're always, like, posting new photos, whatever. I know I'm going on and on. This is, like, a small infomercial for the Creative Knitters group, but it is what it is. <laughs> um, it is, it is what it is. I, I it, was, it sounds I found, fun, and I hadn't joined the first time around because I hadn't done a KAL before. Yeah. And I was like, why am I going to invest in this? It is it's so kind of worth it. Because it totally there is, is so much um, enjoyment. There's mm -hmm. so much enjoyment with the group of ladies that are on the, in the group. Group mm -hmm. of ladies that are in the group. Um, so we're all learning new skills. And the most recent one, I was like, I want to learn brioche. Yes. I tried to do a what the fade mm -hmm. originally. 
I messed up royally. I was not in a place to mentally deal mentally with. in a place to deal with it. I started. I tried to do it in August for my birthday, mm -hmm. and it just wasn't clicking. I had just gone back to work. Things at work were kind of pretty stressful. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna leave it at that because oh, COVID is crazy. Yeah, I'm sure you know. I'm sure you do. Um, so this so year with fresh. Fresh mind, fresh renown, fresh. I'm like, bring it. I know. Out. Fresh. Bring it. Um, out. <laughs> I have, I have gotten to almost the end of my brioche. Yes. For my what the fade shawl. Yes. Look at how beautiful it is, guys. So oh, this is I'm jealous. one side, and so good. this is the other. It's still so good. I think this is my favorite side. It fades so nicely. This side does. Yeah. But this the other a little bit more. But you know what? I don't mind it though. Yeah, I don't either. I'm sorry. I just want to It looks to... very organic that way. You I, know what I, mean? I hope so. So I see so doing the brioche like yarn over and knit and purl, doing that action um really kind of reactivated my my wrist problems. Now yeah. now it makes sense, right? Um I am not gonna lie to you. I'm going to tell you everything that's wrong with this project. I know that some people are like, don't point out the mistakes. I have to. I want to be honest with you guys um, just because that's the kind of person that I am. So if you look at my project, you're like, what's wrong? Nothing. But I know it's wrong. It is. But it's not wrong because I'm glad I did it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So <laughs> I'm glad I, did I am it. glad I did it. So this was supposed to be the right side. This is supposed to be the wrong side, I think. Um, the green was supposed to be all with the blue and somehow I flipped it. Um, mm -hmm. I did the brioche properly all the way down to the fade. And when I added the color, I must have read the, the instructions wrong mm -hmm. and I messed it up. So I accidentally, while I was fading mm -hmm. the colors, I also rotated what became the main color and what became the contrasting color. But I... I mean, like, all of those stitches are still brioched. Yeah. So I still consider it brioche. Yeah, it's still a win. I think it's still a win. And to be honest, I'm really loving... The way this fades. The way that this is starting to fade. So it's like a green on top. Yeah. And well. then it has... Oh, I'm sorry. A blue teal mm -hmm. with, like, some, some speckly yarn with some green, mint green in the background. And then the second or the third color is another speckly with the bright green. Mm -hmm. So it's not a proper, proper fade. Um, I did this with leftover yarn from other projects. I mm -hmm. just so happen to have the right amounts for this project. Yeah. The first half of the colors were leftover from my sorrel sweater. This blue teal color, it's called pistachio. I didn't even use it because it wasn't fading the way I wanted to, but it was originally part of that project. Mm -hmm. The second, or yeah, the second grouping of colors was left over from my Sunset Highway. So this is all um, Chelsea Lux. And then the last portion is left over from my second fluoresce knit um, sweater. So like, I don't know if you've seen that. Probably not. I don't not. think so. Um, if you've gone onto my Instagram, you will see it. I'm wearing it. It's speckled on the top and then green at the bottom. And, oops, sorry. Um, speckled at the bottom and speckled body and then green for the sleeves. Um, so it's not a proper, proper fade, but I kind of love it because I'm able to repurpose it, mm -hmm. repurpose some of the yarn that I've not been able to use right. but in a whole new way that it's going to match all of those projects and in a whole different new way so i'm like really excited about this brioche like it, i'm brioching like i don't even know i still have no idea how to decrease i'm doing the best i can with the increasing mm -hmm. i've messed up a couple of times i have figured out how to I have figured out how to tank back and to make sure I have the shawl, the little shawl um, on it. I want to do a little more research to figure out the anatomy of a stitch mm -hmm. and how to fix those kind of problems because I'm the kind of person that needs to know the why 
not just the how. Mm -hmm. um, that helps me kind of understand what I'm doing. And when I was working on that and I realized that I swapped the colors, it was almost too late. Like I've done, I did too many rows before I realized it. Yeah. And it was either I rip the whole thing out and start over or I just keep going. And I'm kind of glad I decided to keep going. Yeah. I really like how it's turning out. And I kind of am really liking the way that the fade is going. I don't know if I would have liked it the original way I had it. Mm -hmm. So I consider that a happy accident, but I'm real excited. And I hope that it's a finished object next time. Yeah. Okay. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. So we had some phone problems. It's charging now, which is why it might look a little different. Yes. But we're here with you. Yeah. We still have plenty to show. <laughs> for sure. For sure. So where were we? Whips? We were at Whips. I just showed my brioche, my what the fade. Yes. Okay. So technically this is a half done project because these are socks that I'm knitting for a coworker of mine for Christmas and it's Christmas is done. Wise men or epiphany day is gone <laughs> and uh, they're still not done. So her favorite color is orange. And so I picked this lovely burnt orange and I paired it with this green um, because I wanted it to look more like uh, autumn-y than Christmassy. Um, so I finally got back to it. And casted them on. And casted them on. Switched colors. It's, it's happening, guys. I'm finally finishing this sock. It feels like it's a long time coming. Mm -hmm. um, I really want to get them done by this week because I'm the kind of person that puts um, impossible Constraint. constraints on myself. So we'll see. I mean, I feel like I can get them done. I think you can get them done. You know, done. so there's that. And then Something miraculous happened. I know. And um, I'm knitting. I'm knitting. I'm teaching my mom how to knit. So. Yeah. Yeah. I'm teaching my mom how to knit. She's doing a really good job. She is. So we are doing the Perky Little Hat by Sharon Lestitch Lentsish. I'm sorry that I butchered your name. But. Because this has... It's probably lynched. Oh, maybe. I don't know. I'm terrible at names. <laughs> it's fine. Um, it's a cute little hat. Because it is, it is a really cute little hat. But because it has yarn overs, and my mom is brand new at knitting, we changed this yarn over section to ribbing. So it'll be stretchy because she, I know that she had worries whether or not it's actually going to fit on her head. Mm -hmm. um, so that's what we're working on. I ended up getting from my local yarn shop, Habit Trot's Wheel, this Malabrigo Caracol, and I don't remember the name. Um, I think it was Piedras. I don't think so. I think mom was that. Piedras. Mine something else, but I like it. It reminds me of like sea glass mm -hmm. um, and netting. So we'll see. I can, I'm excited. I'm thinking. I love that yarn because it has its own fishnet. Yeah. And I love fishnet. Depending on how I feel when I'm done with it, I may give it to grandma. Mm -hmm. um, but she isn't going anywhere because of. COVID. Everything happening. So there's that. And then because I wasn't I wasn't feeling knitting for a minute right after the holidays. Um I just casted something on just to cast something on. So I am essentially designing my own shawl. Um hope you guys like it. But if not, that's okay, too. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> I hope you like it. But if not, that's, that's okay, okay, too. Uh, you know what? Not everything is for everybody, and that's okay. So, um, 
I used this yarn that I I got for me and Erica and I wasn't really sure what to do with it I was gonna use it for this project actually and I just wasn't convinced about it so I casted it on did a did a quick sample swatch and I was like F it I'm just gonna do it so um, if you look it's seed stitch with some lace pattern and then some mohair that I marled and then more yummy frothy mohair with more lace because I don't know Erica likes doing brioche to relax I like I'm <laughs> just kidding listen okay it's not that I don't like brioche it's too new for me it to is. relax yet it is I um, literally have an injury right now truth and I'm over here like, she likes to challenge herself with brioche. I like mm. to challenge myself with making up lace charts with mohair. Single, <laughs> single strand of mohair. So, um, <laughs> I know. I know. I know. We're crazy. It's we fine. Um, but I like it. So, I don't know how it's going to end up. Mm -mm. And that's exciting. But isn't that fun? It is fun. It's nice to just pick it up, try something out that may not work out and then you rip it out and try something else or you keep it and keep going mm -hmm. you know yeah. so it's just fun to explore a medium it it almost brings me back to like the play. being in school well art school yeah i'm being, playing with the material i'm playing with the material even though they didn't really let us because they're like you can't explore anything someone else is already working with that material so we're not jaded. No, not at all. <laughs> but um, but yeah, I'm really excited. I, I'm like, I need to get these darn socks done, so then you can be so like I me. Can, so I can just like, this is my, this is my at work project, because my coworker actually know already knows about them, so I don't even have to work work on them in secret anymore. But I'm like, I just need peace and quiet, and this is like my fun project. This is like my dessert project. I'm like. Oh, a frothy mohair. It makes me so happy to just look at it. It just, especially like the white. I mean, I know it's a stark contrast to like all of the other texture, but like it makes me so happy. It reminds me of like the frothy um, foam from the lake when it comes up. I know that Erica's not, like Erica's like no, but I like the like splash. That. I understand what you mean. Oh, uh, to me that's. Like I the thought most... you meant like the, when it gets foamy, like the sea foam. No, not the sea foam. That's why I went. Mm. But no, I understand no, no, no. like the fun, like the fun splash gotcha. that you know, like it's just. Yes, I understand. It's like a calming effect. Like I can hear it in my head. That's like whoosh, whoosh, <laughs> and I'm like ah. So nice, so relaxing. Sorry. I didn't mean to do the face. She's I just like, thought, ew, sea foam. Listen, I've been to places where the sea foam is gross. It's like foaming and like and it, piles. No, 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 and no, it no, 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 no. I mean like the about. fun stuff where like yes. it like reflects and it has like little bubbles. I understand what oh, you mean. Yeah. I got I got a little was like, mm. Yeah, no. We're good. We're back in the good happy place. Yes. Or it reminds me of like, um, Latte foam. I thought that's where I thought you were going with it. But yeah. I'm like, just foam. <laughs> bubbles. Or bubbles. Okay. I don't know. I just... Some things that, like, bring me comfort and joy. Because, I don't know, New Year hit and I was like, I don't feel like touching my needles. I don't feel like doing this. And I don't feel like doing that. But at the same time, I also love it. So I was, like, punishing myself for not knitting that I was like, I don't know what project to do, but I feel like I should be knitting because I want to be knitting. So I just needed to like take that pressure off of myself and that's what this is. It's just something fun where it could turn into something or it could just be something for me or it could just be nothing. You know what I mean? Like there's no pressure to like produce anything and I think I needed that, especially at the beginning of the year. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm excited about it. All right, what else do we have? Do you want to talk about our haul? Yes! So, because it was Christmas, we weren't... Not that bad. No, we actually really weren't that <laughs> bad, and most of the stuff, it was because it was... They were having sales, or 
or we just needed it in our life. So, let's start with, with this. Yes! So, I'm sure most of you know, mm -hmm. Katie Jax is doing a half and half wrap cowl. Yes. For the longest time, I'm sorry I'm playing with my hair, but it is what it is. It needs to be out of the way. I know it does, because this needs to be seen. Yeah. Okay, <sighs> so, Katie Jax is doing a half and half wrap cowl, mm -hmm. pearl soho, linen quill. And Correct. for the longest time, we were like going back and forth on our colors, trying to decide yes. what we want. We finally decided we were going to order, and guess what? Out of stock. I know! <laughs> it's the worst! <laughs> so... Yeah, we, had we to pivoted. Go. We pivoted. It's fine. It's fine. We definitely came up with multiple colors. Yes. Um, once I got mine, I was like, dang, I should have got one of her colors because I love it. I think a little more than I probably should. I it's might buy it and make another one. I don't know. Hey, man, how many have they made? So many. I know. Well, I sh I just want to make one mm -hmm. first. Yeah. And then if I love it, like I think I will, because I am really enjoying wearing the Ship's Travaganza it's shawl. It's so nice. I love them. It adds, like, without this shawl, I know my outfit today would have been so boring, and I would have been really cold. So, yeah. So I'm really enjoying shawls. So we yes. will see where we're at when we're at. I just brought two skeins over because I don't think I need to show you the whole thing. Um, But, like... So good. So, I chose my two colors are. Okay, sorry. She I had like, I, I gotta, gotta check because I was gonna call it something totally different. <laughs> pink pop, which I lovingly like to call it '90s Barbie pink. Yes, girl. And mm, '90s Barbie pink. <laughs> and salt and pepper, mm -hmm. which. Also, I love. I'm like I love it because which, it's it's like '90s Barbie pink and salt and pepper. So so salt, salt and pepper, pepper here. Mm, 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 salt salt mm, salt mm, and pepper mm, salt mm, and pepper mm, here. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. So I don't know about you, but there is a Canadian outfitter store <gasps> yes. called Roots Canada, and it's so good. And I usually buy a lot of stuff secondhand. The mm -hmm. only thing that I don't that I haven't bought secondhand in a long long time are, are sweatpants. roots sweatpants i bought three pairs two years ago and i wear them All almost them. every single day and the reason so why good. i'm bringing that up is because they are famous for their salt and pepper sweats yeah so this kind of is giving me comfort comfort and joy because this is my childhood and yes. this is my comfort yeah i get that so and I'm doing the bigger size shawl. I'm oh, doing yeah. the three skeins. I want to schlank it. Yes. So it's because it's we cold. Want schlankets. We Legit. want schlankets. Legit. They keep our thermostat at 65, 66. Why? 69. I'm over here like I'm pushing it up to 70 people. Like so it's cold. This is my comfort. Barbie pink and salt and pepper sweatpants. Mm-hmm. So good. I'm excited. So I mine. obviously go for the same colors. Can you tell? Girl, me too. <laughs> Look at this. I know. I love it. <laughs> I'm like, let's be real about who we are. I know. <laughs> let's just be real. I know. <laughs> so mine that should is... Be, that should be our photo. Be like... <laughs> <laughs> so my color is super orange. 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 <laughs> orange. You glad I didn't say banana? Okay. So low key, so the color that we wanted originally that was, sold out was sweet, sweet potato. Was right? sweet potato. So yes. we definitely wanted an orange because, color. Okay, so my vibe. Yeah, see this. Now I really love this together. This Isn't is what I wish I would have ordered. So good. But then is it like to Isaac Mizrahi for Target? Maybe. <laughs> it's okay. I love these two colors together. But like. Is it a bad thing? No, no, I didn't say it was a bad thing. I didn't say it was a bad thing either. So, my, okay, so my original <laughs> color palette thought was I really wanted the sweet potato because I wanted it more to be like a reddier vibe. I'm sorry. I want your hair. My hair got pinched in her arm. Oh, <laughs> okay. that's new. <laughs> um, I wanted more of a reddier vibe because I was, I what I wanted, especially with this, what is it called? Eggshell blue. That's this so this pretty. turquoise was um, for our 25th birthday. We went to the Grand Canyon, and I really wanted to have a shawl 
to like signify those colors and oh, how beautiful. amazing it was to like be there and to actually see it IRL. Mm -hmm. um, but alas, it was not to be. So, this is what I got. It's close. Um, it kind of reminds me of Vegas. Like the neon signs. Yeah, okay, I'll take it. <laughs> um, I love Vegas. You love it. But um, I'm also bummed that we didn't get to go see Area 51. So, <laughs> it's not like it's not like they tour it, Jessica. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Just, I just want to drive by the mailbox, the Area 51 mailbox. Don't make fun of me, jerk. <laughs> I'm sorry. <It's> they just... <laughs> don't tour it, Jessica. <laughs> I'm not dumb. I know they don't tour it. Oh, I'm sorry. She's a huge um. X Files fan. Yes, yeah. huge X Files fan. So it's like a running joke. I'm sorry. It is. It's fine. <laughs> um. <laughs> so yeah. So then I was like, okay. So they do have my blue. They don't have my my sweet potato. So I was like, what other color looks good? I was thinking of doing like yellow, but then I thought maybe too super manny, and I was just not about that life. Don't. I'm sorry. Don't I'm me. still laughing. <laughs> Um, so I went with this orange because red, red, where am I, Jess? I'm here. Blue and orange are opposite colors of the color wheel, so I thought they would work very well together. And clearly, like, I love that color palette. Mm -hmm. Orange, blue, blue. I don't have orange lipstick because nobody wears lipstick underneath their mask anymore. So, um. You'd be surprised. Some people do. Not me. I don't put in the effort. Like, mm -hmm. that's okay. That's fine. Um, but yeah. So like, I really wanted something bright and fun, so I can just put it with literally all of my black things, and feel cool and bright and fun. The end. The end. The end. So yeah. And I'm also making the ginormous one because I want a schlanket, and I'm going to go up a needle size because I knit tight because I wanted this to be a schlanket and it's not. So, growth, people, growth. <laughs> growth. Growth it's, and understanding. Yeah. So, about who we are as knitters? Absolutely. Yes. So, I feel like every, every time we do one of these, we just always mention, mention cake. Cake, 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 cake. You can't cake. not unhear that now. I know, you really can't. <laughs> you Thank really you. cannot. Thanks, so. girls. Yes, thanks, girl. But it's fun. But it's true, though. Like, no, it's so I, good. What is your favorite dessert? Sara Lee pound cake. Mm -hmm. But this doesn't have Linda's the calories. Linda's chocolate fudge cake. Yeah. Small Cheesecake. Small two-bite cup cupcakes. Cupcakes. We just love our carbs. This way, we just don't get... We just don't indulge. We just we Oh, just no, indulge. this is definitely an indulgence, but at least you don't have the calories to feel guilty about. Not that I feel guilty about the calories. I will eat my cake all the time. I'll have two, three slices. Girl. <laughs> mm. <laughs> what? No, I know. It's true. I'm not saying anything. I'm like, I'll eat cake for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I don't care. Okay. But yes. So, this is... Okay, so let's start. Oh, yeah. Hold on. I don't know why I'm I don't know why I'm doing that. Like, I don't know where I'm at. Okay. <laughs> sorry. I'm back. Clearly, we <laughs> haven't done one of these in like a hot minute. I've got I'm sorry. Okay. I'm and back. this is going to be like an hour long. It's okay. We missed you guys and I'm sure if you watch us, you missed us too. Mm -hmm. I hope. Mm -hmm. I hope. This is our cake. 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 cake so, cake, this was cake. Cake's holiday collection. Yes, it really was. And holy cannoli was it good. So yummy. So I really love colors that are Christmassy, like have a Christmas theme yes. without being red, red and, and green. green. Even though you got red. Even though I got red. But. But. Okay. So we both got a skein of sugar. Yes. Which has gold Stellina in it. Oh. Uh, after, after the, um, the. Oh, the after she cloud, got Spun Cloud. She's I was like. OMG, I'm getting everything sparkly from now on. <laughs> so this is gingerbread. Yes, it's so good. I know, we're just going to go so in. So good. Mm. 
So it looks like a gingerbread house, but it's, a, I don't know, it's just so good. It's so yummy. So it is kind of like a rosy, pinky, orangey, rosy color, mm -hmm. and it has speckles of like blue and pinks and mauves and oranges. Like it's yeah. just so nice. And so like just I'm a really... small hint of brown, like a gold. Yeah, like a gold. Oh, it's so good. We love it. Mm, we're gonna make the Mermaid Avenue socks from Summerlee Knits so they look like gingerbread cookies. I'm excited. All right. Okay. Do you want to talk about yours real quick? Um, this is mohair. And I realized that I love mohair, especially cake mohair. Um, this is called Cream. And her this colorway is Holiday Jewel. And when she pulled this out at the Knit and Escape trunk show, I we died. died. I was like, oh my god, I need that. We and stocked it and stocked it. I mean, yes. like, it's not a like it's we're obsessed. Like, I might have met I mentioned that I think in the group, and I think they all laughed, but like, I'm not kidding, I'm obsessed. Mm -hmm. But it's just so good. Like, her color theory is so good, and she is the sweetest person in the world. And we love it's just that. nice to be a fan of someone who's like super nice and sweet like cake Okay, you guys so a lot of the times we like sit and we talk about dream all knitting. of the projects and whatever and we're talking about dream knitting mm -hmm. so This is called red nose reindeer So cute. I have four skeins of this mm -hmm. Because I'm going to cast on my Rita sweater yeah, she is. I am really excited. I love, I love, I wanted to do something a little different mm -hmm. because as you can tell, pink is like my signature color, a little like Elle Woods, mm -hmm. but I love red. Mm -hmm. I love red so, so much. And I thought I was going back and forth between maybe doing like a minty green, which still would have been right. very Christmassy mm -hmm. or maybe like a neutral color. But then I'm like, Erica, that's not you. And when she pulled this beautiful red color out, it's a little bit, I mean, it's get, It's kind of really true to color right here where it's kind yeah. of like that orangey red, mm -hmm. which is honestly one of my favorite reds. Right. Mm -hmm. Love it. Love it. Couldn't wear it. Sorry. Love it. Couldn't, Couldn't wear, wear it. it. So I love this color. Mm -hmm. I am really excited to make a red Frida sweater. Um... I don't know. I just keep going on and on and on because I'm obsessed. I already downloaded the pattern. I already printed it out. I haven't skeined it up yet because I wanted to show you in skein form. Right. Um, but I'm really excited to start. Mm -hmm. Okay, so my goal is to finish this. Finish mm -hmm. my brioche What the Fade shawl. Yes. And cast this on. Honestly, she couldn't decide what to work on first, so we actually oh left it to chance. Oh, I wish we should have recorded it. Yes, so I put in a notebook, one through six different projects that she wanted that to I do. wanted to do. So I did a um, the Frida, the Frida, the what the, the fade, the ranunculus, the ranunculus. I did the hyper knit along shawl, the oh, yeah. winter lights, and I did something else. Mm -hmm. That's okay. I don't remember what the other one was. And I literally rolled the dice. Mm -hmm. I literally rolled the dice to decide what was next. Mm -hmm. Like what and I was going to... What we, what we would tick off first. Yes. What? So the one that lasted, the one that stayed the longest, the last one standing was the one I was going to make. Right. Because there were so many projects, I didn't know what to do first. Mm -hmm. And this one won. But now that I'm done with this, I think, well, when I finish this, I think I'm I'm ready for... Mm -hmm. A little bit more of a difficult lace project. Right. And I'm really excited. Um, and again, in my Creative Knitters group, we've been talking about different patterns and stuff. And a couple of the ladies are going to knit it. So we might do a Frida K-A-L in oh, the Knit Along group. That'll be nice. Yes. Because then if you guys have problems or yes. questions, y'all can like, be like hey, talk guys. to each other. Yeah. Yes. And I know one of the ladies there, she did a kind of like a milk tea beige, like almost this color, if you can see, like the background of this, that color, mm -hmm. Frida sweater, and it was gorgeous. So I'm excited. 
That's my yeah. dream knitting. This is this is either this or or I'm gonna cast Oh the other cast on was this. Yeah. Da Erica. Um <laughs> Da Erica. Da. Or the sprinkle, what did you put in the sprinkled Lindsay? I don't no? think I did the sprinkled Lindsay. Yeah. I want to do that in the spring. I get that. So that way I can have something fun to look forward to. Yeah, I get that. But that's kind of my dream knitting. So like you have like three or four different ideas of what we're going to do. And when all of this is over, I'm going to do, we are going to do, because all of our advents, everyone wanted to know what we're doing with our advents. I think I've narrowed it down to really what I want to do. And we are going to do that as IGTVs. Yeah, we are. So we're going to take turns and do it either on my, my, um, her Instagram. Yes, or my, my IG Instagram. Or, sorry. sorry. I like totally blanked out because I'm like it's on my page. It's been a long day. So. Or her page. Yes. Um, and we're going to call it like after the advent, like yeah. the bachelorette after the rose. So you can kind of see, <laughs> yeah, for real. So I'm I, down for that. I'm so down for that. I'm really excited to see, to, to decide exactly what projects we're doing. Yeah, me too. And how we're going to do them and kind of do maybe like a weekly or bi-weekly check-in on the project. Mm -hmm. What do you think? The suspense is killing me. I know. I, I mean, like, we have to produce this content, and I don't even know what I'm making, guys. Well, I mean, like, it, it's not pressure. It's just meant to be fun. So no, when no, we're no, ready yeah, yeah, to yeah. do it, we'll just I'm do ready. It. I'm, I think I might do the hibernate knit along with, um... I think so. With my minis Junk yarn? from Junk Yarn and my black heart that I've been hoarding forever. Yeah. So I think that'll be fun. I, I think, think it'll be good. And I just wasn't ready to do it. Yeah. But I think once I'm done with this? a few of these, yeah, I'll be good. Okay. So I think mine is going to be cake. My cake will advent. <gasps> yes! Because it's going to be beautiful. I'm just really excited. I know I'm obsessed. And I feel like what, what I'm like I, preaching sorry. the gospel of cake. <laughs> I know for real though. <laughs> I know for real though. But at the same time, um, I was paying attention, but like I wasn't paying attention. What are you doing with your cake? The <laughs> hibernate it along. Oh, okay. The winter lights. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Guys, I think. I've been up since 5 o'clock. Yeah, it's been, so. it's been a long day. But we wanted to check in with you yes. because it has been so, 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 so long. And I'm also not done. Oh, shoot. Yeah, we got a lot to do. This is going to be an hour long. Yeah. This is our first hour long podcast. Welcome. I <laughs> hope you had a snack and a bathroom break. <laughs> I know. And something to drink because I'm thirsty. So, back to more... Um, Fun acquisitions. I, because I, I do love Amanda Solomon. So, so much. I normally, I know for real though. Um, but I have never gotten her yarn before. And she started dyeing yarn as well. So I, for my kaleidoscope, decided to pick up one of her hand spun yarns. And at first I was like, I don't get the point of it. But... <laughs> I'm just going to be honest no, because I, know. I didn't understand like the whole fascination with like hand spun yarn before I even started spinning. Now that I started spinning, like I understand it better. Should we do like a, can we, can I interject for just a second? Yeah, of course. Okay. So back in the day, mm -hmm. like way back in the day, like I was 2009, like 2007, 2008, 2009. Mm -hmm. I was obsessed with this woman and her, her name is Lexi. And she wrote The Hand Spun Revolution. Mm -hmm, now, mm -hmm. this was when I first started knitting and I was obsessed with her art yarn. Mm -hmm. And I wish to God I would have bought one of her skeins because she has disappeared off the face of the earth. I know, for real though. For real. Um, but I was obsessed. I belonged to her Facebook group. I loved everything she made. And I was all about the hand spun yarn. Mm -hmm. So when Jess was like, I don't get it. I'm like, how do you not get it? I but I'm glad understand. that she got to this place in her life. <laughs> it makes me so happy. And I just I okay. Let's let's <laughs> let's be real. I for the longest time thought that yarn was just the air and weight chunky yarn. Mm -hmm. Okay? And I didn't understand how there was thinner yarn. Do you know what I mean? So I, I didn't know I understand okay. I understand what you're saying yeah so and then on the other hand I didn't understand that you could just spin your own yarn mm-hmm 
and that it could look this amazing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, like, I didn't, the concept didn't click in my head until I started doing it. And, like, meanwhile, I was obsessed with Lexi and, like, would stalk her right. on Instagram and, right. like, be part of her group and wanted to take an online class and all of this stuff before it was even commonplace. Right. But I got her there eventually. It's fine. So... <laughs> So, I understand now that it's, like, a collector's item, especially with, like, Amanda Solomon, who literally only does... Like, one collection. Like, one collection. No repeatables. And no repeatables. And, like, now I'm, like, super upset at myself that I did not get a hand-spun of her Sailor Moon colorway. Because I was thinking about it, and then I talked myself out of it. And I have been regretting it ever since. So when I saw this one and I was like, oh, this would be so perfect for my kaleidoscope. Because with my kaleidoscope, I'm doing like purples and like yellows mm -hmm. and blues. Yeah. So I just wanted to have something else that was different and fun and unique to it. Um, that wasn't all just knit collage. Because I just want to play. So... I got this one. Mm -hmm. um, it's called Still That B 04. And then I ended up getting the Sparkle Base because, like I said, I got everything in sparkly. We love sparkle now. And it's called Barbie Fantasy. And I don't know what I'm going to make with it yet. Um, I was thinking maybe socks, but now that I see it IRL, I just want to hoard it until I decide what I'm going to make. So... <laughs> I'm okay with keeping things until the right project presents itself. And I regret not getting more. Like these. So I wish. Why don't you make like a Barbie themed plus a fade? Oh, I should. I'm not saying you need to. I'm but just how nice saying would that be? it would be interesting. It would be so nice. Because I already have a fantastic. No. Fashionista, Fashionista Barbie and the Astronaut Barbie. And then this is Barbie inspired. Mm-hmm. And then I'm getting the Barbie... Club from Junkyard. Club from Junkyard. We'll see. We'll see how the colors are. And if not, at least I one side so, will be Barbie. I am so excited for Barbie. I know. Me too. I love Barbie. All right. And after the long road, we finally come to an end. I cannot believe... I didn't think we had that much to talk about. Me either. We just talk a lot. Yeah, but we also had a lot to talk about. Because That's true. We had, well, I think this is more of an acquisition heavy one. Mm-hmm. Um, and we just, normally we don't have acquisitions because we don't go anywhere. But because know, everybody was holiday. having online sales, I was like, well, now's the time to get it. Yeah. So. All right. All right. Well. So. I'm how Erica. Do, how do we how do we end these? I'm Erica. Okay. And she is Jess. I'm Jess. You can find me at <laughs> Instagram and Ravelry at Waffle Belgium. You can find her at indie.darling or it's underscore Jess underscore Bell on Instagram. Isn't it indie.darling? No, indie dash darling? Indie dash darling. Indie dash darling. Yeah. So funny. But and that right. is the end of our show. Finally. We are now a show because it's been, oh, we're not a sitcom anymore. We're a full <laughs> long hour drama. Oh my gosh, I know. <laughs> Dang, son. All right. Well, uh. you know where to find us now if you are interested. Um, let us know in the comments if you are interested in knowing what Jessica's pattern is going to be. Yes. I mean, we all know it's going to be a shawl. Like, no, I mean, but like. But if you want to knit it or yeah, not. Yeah, if you want to knit it or not, let, let me us know. know. Um, I am sharing, like, progress photos through my stories. On Instagram. On Instagram. And, uh, yeah, well, that's where you get to see all of our fun mm -hmm. um, style photos and what have you, all of our shenanigans. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, all right. I'm going to let you go now because it's been a hot minute. Thank you for sticking with us. If you watched the entire video and got to here... Thank you. We appreciate you. And we hope you have a wonderful, Should we do a stick around? New Year. No, <laughs> we've been here too long. I just want you guys to be happy, healthy in 2021. Yes. We hope you have a good night. Bye, Bye guys. guys.